Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second part of one level one to level one hundred playthrough in Red Dead Online. I'm logging in, and uh, today I'm gonna be grinding on a first roll. Like, I believe I finished the previous stream with a balance of like four gold bars or something, and I need ten gold bars to buy a first roll, which would be Bounty Hunter. And yes, hello and welcome to everyone who joined. Hope you're doing great. Let's take a look at how much gold do I have. Yeah, four gold bars. I need 10 and you might say, well, like, how, how is it possible? Why do you need 10? Why, why not 15? Like, the cheapest roll is 15. And well, that's because this month there is a discount in Red Dead Online. You can buy Bounty Hunter for 10 gold bars instead of 15. So, it will it will make it easier. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you know what? Since I'm, I'm here already and we see an alligator, uh, let's kill some alligators. Oh, no. To get a big game meat. I'm not quite sure if I can get big game meat from small alligators because you know they are small. <laughs> so, but let's see, let's see. You definitely can get it from big alligators. Poor alligator skin. I don't need it. Let's drop it. What kind of meat will I? Yeah, you can. You know, it's kind of weird. Alligators are small, but meat is big. Chester Du says, Cat, nice, nice pr prison outfit. Why it's a prison outfit? It's just a... It's just a... Hoodie. Come on. <clears throat> anyway, I don't see any other alligators. Uh, I guess they're sleeping. Oh no, they're, th here they are, but they're... Oh, here we go. The problem is, I have only carbine repeater yet, uh, so I'm not quite sure how many shots it will take to kill an alligator with a carbine repeater. It's not the best weapon to, to kill alligator, but let's, you know what, let's do it like this. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so apparently it takes only three good headshots, so it's, it's doable. Oh no, I ran out of ammo. Yeah, and it ran away. But anyway. There is a trick how you can easily kill alligators even on a, like lowest levels. Uh, you just need to go to fence and purchase uh, like pretty much any tomahawk there. Oh, here we go. Now I have... Uh oh, it's still here. I thought it's dead, but it's not. Yeah, it, it takes three headshots. Um, so yeah, let's go. I will I will get three pieces of uh, big game meat. Now I need. Now I also need the mint, actually, but I'm, I'm not sure if mint, if I can find mint anywhere around. So it might be a problem. It might be a problem. You know what, I will later pick up mint and... Uh, and craft the big game minty meat. Yeah, guys, hello and welcome to everyone in the chat. Hope everything is doing fine today. Burgi is saying, uh, hello, cat. Are you playing on PC? Do you regret it so far? Or is, it, is it easy to play for you? I've been playing on PC since it released about 600 hours, but cheaters are annoying. Cheaters were always annoying, except at the very beginning, maybe. Uh, but I'm playing in a private lobby. That's why I'm playing in, on a PC. Because on PC, unlike with Xbox, it's possible to just make a private lobby easily. 
And yeah, I used to play on PC before, like when the game was released on PC, I immediately bought it. I already had pretty high level with a lot of money that I cannot spend uh, on Xbox by that time. And for me, it was uh, like a fresh start. I really like starting new characters in this game. It's probably, you know, the funnest part for me, at, at least. And yeah, guys, uh, I, I saw some messages like, why haven't you been streaming like you I, I i on the previous stream i promised uh that i will stream this series more often you know i even said that i'm gonna be streaming on on sunday <clears throat> but funny thing happened wait i will i will teleport to emerald station i wanna i wanna pick up some uh blood money mission to earn to finish contracts and earn the $60 bonus. I need that money now. But anyway, when the last stream ended, funny thing happened because like Im almost immediately after the stream ended, I felt kind of bad and temperature increased. Uh, so I was sick for next four days, pretty sick. I don't know why I said that funny thing happened. There is nothing funny about about such things. But I, I'm just explaining why there were no streams. But anyway, from now on I feel better and hopefully these streams will be more often. Prison stream is a new... It's not a prison stream, I mean, come on. It's not a prison outfit, it's just a cool looking orange hoodie. So let's go to Jaw. I, I believe on a previous stream I already unlocked this uh, blood money mission giver because I don't want to complete a pointless stranger mission. I want to complete blood money missions immediately. Maybe there are some collectibles new. Okay, great. Let's go and make blood money. So, oh, nice. We have already the last uh, stage of uh, Jeb Phelps contract. Second stage of railroad contract and blue water contract. Yeah, so we will complete all these missions. Uh, let's complete uh, the last stage of Jeb Phelps contract just to, you know, receive this extra $60. I so will need them now. Glad you are okay, cat. Mini Blue says, "Thank you, thank you." I'm I'm also kind of glad that I'm okay, because <laughs> you know. And yeah, by the way, um, blood not blood money. Bounty hunter bonuses are ending on Tuesday, so I need to like hurry up to take advantage of this double gold. So I will stream today, and hopefully. I will either earn enough gold bars today to purchase Bounty Hunter roll for 10 gold bars or I will purchase it like almost immediately on a Sunday stream and we will, you know, complete some legendary bounty missions with double payout, with double gold, uh, it will be super easy to earn another 5 gold bars to purchase prestigious Bounty Hunter license, which is also with a discount this month but I need to go to Call to Arms and reach wave 3. Okay, go to Annensburg. I'm already at Annensburg, but let's go. Which is cool. Um, what is like really cool about Blood Money missions if you play like in a, in a regular public lobbies is that they happen in a private lobby like most of blood money missions are, are creating like a private lobby for you which is which is nice okay so i believe the dude is sitting here now we will see a small cutscene Okay, let's go. Let's run away. Oh, actually, I I bought a bow on the last stream, so let's use it. Go get it. 
Jeb Phelps, get here. Get here, Jeb. Uh oh, uh oh, there is a train. Ah, it's a trap. <laughs> okay. It was not the. It was not the best place to park my horse. <laughs> I forgot that there is a train as well. Anyway. I thought I'm, I'm just gonna run away, but you know what? Okay. Do I have the Diatonics? Because when you're using a bow on PC, like... Painted black with the die is almost a must-have. The problem with this uh, lowmans is that I don't get any experience for killing them, so it's just a waste of time and arrows and tonics. So, I mean, you don't get bonuses. So uh, I usually just run away, but this time. Oh no, Jeb! Don't die! Get get on the horse fast, Jeb, bro. Stay. Okay, now now we. Oh no, it's not gonna be good. Oh no, my horse is <laughs> is dead. What is going on? Okay, whatever. Just kill them all. But the problem is my horse is dead and I have no revive or nothing. Oh, that dude has a horse. I mean, I, I will borrow it. Go. Go. Ugh. I will borrow your horse. I'm not quite sure why we are fighting, but it's okay. Okay. Okay, Jeb, don't worry. I figured it out. Now let's go. <laughs> so, sorry, I shouldn't laugh because if I will, if I will laugh, I'm gonna start coughing. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, Jeb. Oh. Okay, let's go back. And we good. Uh, the good news are, I'm getting more gold for more time spent in a mission, so... Uh-oh, oh, uh -oh. Not, not again, not again. Yes! Oh, now we have another problem. This horse will run out... Oh, oh another train, like how many trains there are? What is, what is this? Like some train, capital of trains or what? Not quite sure why cannot I shoot him. I cannot shoot. Oh, it's because Jeb is sitting there. Hey, st stop, stop. I cannot shoot back because... Get on the horse. You see? When Jeb is on the horse, I cannot shoot back. I cannot shoot behind me. So... Anyway, guys, just as I planned. Everything went just as I planned. Smoothly. Foof. How not to do this mission? How not to do any mission? Okay, now, from now on it's gonna be better. Do I even have some food? No, I only have biscuits. Bis bi biscuits. Biscuits. I need to invest more money into uh, the diatonics and I also need to craft some golden food. <laughs> Jeb is definitely thinking that he should have stayed in jail. For sure. 
And yeah, guys, thanks to everyone who joined and who placed a like already. And as always, to everyone who supports my channel on YouTube, membership, Patreon, stuff like that. Maybe my horse is alive now. Yeah, it's a miracle. My horse is alive, bro. Here you go, bro. I don't have carrot, but I have hay. And let's go. How do you deal with mothers? The only way to deal with mothers is not to meet them at all. And the only way to do it is to play in a private lobby. Unfortunately, there is no other way to safely play Red Dead Online on PC, unfortunately. <clears throat> okay, so now... Now let's try to kill them in stealth. So... I decided to f start using bow because I need to level up my health bar. Okay. Obviously stealth is not working when they are staying so close to each other. Oops. Oh no, machine gun. Okay, it's not good. Jab! Stop! Stop! Stop being around. Go somewhere and die. Ah. Jeb is so annoying. Oh, machine gun. Who's shooting? What? I don't get extra experience for free aiming. Oh, I do, so it's fine. Now machine gun man. Oh. There we go. Now let me pick up all uh, the arrows because I, I, I need these arrows back. He follows you around like a lost puppy. Yeah, for sure. Do I get experience for killing this? No. It's annoying, but you don't get extra experience when you kill police officers or low men. Uh, so in a mission where you have to fight them, you basically like losing a lot of experience because of that. Uh, rocks are actually made it because a lot of people were grinding experience this way. They were just going to Saint Denis and uh, endlessly were killing enemies. Not enemies, but... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill you anyway. I wanted to use machine gun, but then I thought that, you know, you know what, it's too risky. Oh, there are more of them. How many of them do I need to kill? <clears throat> machine gun time! Come and get me! Let's wait for it, wait for it! Who's next? Actually, machine gun is super fun uh, in Red Dead Online. Like, it's it's like one of the funniest weapons, and it's not too powerful because it's uh, absolutely uh, has zero damage on a bigger distances. Okay, so we killed everyone. Now. Now I need to go and find uh, that Jeb is kind of dead. Oh no, Jeb, what are you doing? Don't die. Uh-oh, he... I feel, I feel bad for Jeb, I mean, I kind of liked him. He was super annoying, but... Oh. 
Yeah, okay. So, before we will continue our journey, there is a Capitale hidden somewhere here. I don't remember where exactly. Oh, nice, an ability card. Not an ability, but tarot card. Jeb not looking good, but he's, he's okay. Don't worry, Jeb is fine. Jeb is, uh, Jeb is going strong. <clears throat> so, I think it's, no, it's uh, cartridges, but you know what, I will take cartridges, why not? Oh, maybe it's in this chest I will find Capitale. Capitale should be somewhere here, but I don't remember where exactly. Oh, that looks like a box with Capitale. Is it like no? Or maybe this one. Yeah, usually Capitale in the small boxes. Yeah, here we go, Capitale. Capitale. Do the beaver garment set glitch work for female characters? No. For female characters, what you need to do is to you need to create a uh, you know, a party outfit, not a party, posse outfit. And it works exactly the same as uh, uh, beaver. Beaver garment set. So here we go. Picking up stash. Calling for our horse. And just running away. They will not find me. Run! Are you kidding me? Like, bro! Bro! I mean, I give uh, this horse name Bruch for moments like this. So I can tell Bruch. Anyway. <clears throat> and you know what, dude? Uh, since we still have 16 minutes, I will go and pick up some mint right now. Because I needed to, to craft big minty game meat. Minty big game meat, probably. I should say it like this. Luckily, there is a place nearby where you can find a lot of mint. Can I change my horse calling whistle? I don't remember that because I don't really... I don't really care about uh, horse call and whistle, <clears throat> so I never even thought about this. And yeah guys, uh, this stream has an unusual and a little bit unexpected uh, starting time. Uh, but I decided that I would rather stream now when I still feel, uh, you know, not tired, than in the evening. Where well, I cannot guarantee that. Here we go, mint. Pick it up. Oh, you know what? We will also get some meat from alligators as well, I guess. Since we see, like, uh, if if you haven't seen the first part of this series, let me explain why am I wasting time. Because in Red Dead Online, you get more money, golden experience, the more money you spend in a mission. So, like, there is no the optimal time for to to be in a mission is exactly 12 minutes how is it not dead okay that's better i mean i made it three pretty clean headshots Oh, I cannot loot them before when I'm holding Capitale. Capitale is not only annoying when you hold it, it literally prevents you from looting, uh, from skinning animal animals. How do you like that? Oh yeah, guys, since I don't want to alt up to check out how many viewers and likes uh, we have, because who knows, maybe 
my stream will crush just like in a, on a previous stream. Please let me know in the chat how many viewers there are and likes. Uh, Twisted Trading says, do you have enough money to buy a bolt action? They work pretty good for hunting. I don't think I have enough money to buy bolt action. And I, I don't even think I will buy bolt action because I'm playing on PC. I would rather buy rolling block uh, like immediately. I think it, it will be a better choice. <clears throat> so, by the way, uh, check this out. I have $89 right now and for completing this mission I will earn like $30. So it would be like why 120 and I will I should also receive $60 for completing the whole chain whole three missions for the first time 106 is 71 viewer and 99 likes well thanks to everyone who placed a like anyway let's go and deliver uh, let's go and deliver this capitale Apparently it's on the other side of the river. Maybe we will find something interesting. Meanwhile, like I don't know, collect collectible item or maybe uh, another mint. Fish says, "What mission? Uh, it's a Jeb Phelps blood money contract." three part mission and when you uh, it's like uh, when you complete all three for the first time of any contract you receive additional sixty dollars and there we go and there you go buddy let's see payout let's check it out You see, mission completed. Jeb Phelps is a silly guy, yeah. And he's kind of dead now. Well, quite a lot of experience, by the way. You see, $91, just like I told you. So now I have 180 But the problem is, like it tells me that uh, Painted Black is now upgradable. But I cannot afford it yet. I cannot afford it yet. So I need to complete few more contracts. Let's go and complete a railroad contract. Oh, by the way, daily challenges. I uh, obviously was not completing any daily challenges when I was sick. Okay, this one is easy. Bird shooting contest. Nah. Showdowns. No. Whole animal carcasses sold. So I will... I can easily complete this too. Um, I need to complete at least one. <clears throat> I will not bother at all. I think I will just complete it, you know, occasionally. I will kill 10 animals without even... Okay, what is this? It's a trap. Okay, so take out the bandits. Usually payout for such events is uh, not significant. But bandits are attacking this dude, so I would, I would rather help him. Are you doing the three call to arms wave uh, for discount? Yes, I'm gonna do it, but maybe not on this stream. I need to buy rolling block rifle first. So now I have to deliver him to Saint Denis, I believe. Let's go. And yeah, guys, like to be honest, these missions are kind of waste of time because yeah, sometimes if they give you ten dollars, but they pay no gold at all. I, if, I don't remember about experience. If there is some experience, it's un insignificant. And uh, this is. 
like rocks are kind of failed here as well with this free roam encounter i mean in my opinion every free roam encounter should either pay you some gold at least some not not necessarily a lot of gold but at least something you know or give you some unique award so i don't know you you come you help this dude and he gives you a unique hat that you cannot buy anywhere else you can only get it from this mission 205 viewers well that's a really good result for such an unusual and unexpected stream so yeah i still i still have this i still have this challenge for 20 animals so let's kill this bird unprovoked I, I also decided to make a stop here because i want to collect some mint hey dude wait a second here i need to collect this mint oh no they're shooting me it's a i cannot collect mint when they're shooting me he just disappeared i believe I need to get closer because without painted black from such distance I cannot shoot them. And there we go. In style. Killed in style. Maybe if they have something valuable. <laughs> okay, there we go. Or a belt buckle, says Artistic Mass. Yeah, at least something, you know, something unique. Then it would be cool. Oh, there is just no mint here for some reason. Anyway, let's 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 deliver this dude. Is it worth buying Red Dead Redemption 2 online on PC? I got a new PC and I'm switching uh, from console. Oh, well, the problem, like, yes and no. The answer is yes and no at the same time. Why yes? Because, like, first of all, playing with mouse and the keyboard in Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online in particular is, a, like, completely different experience and it's, it's, it's really cool. Especially if you, like, prefer uh, shooting using mouse and a keyboard not a controller it's the first uh, then yes because you will start a new character and in my opinion it's also always fun but on the other hand pc is infested with cheaters right now rockstar does nothing and you need to know about it oh actually they pay you gold for this mission I didn't know that. That's weird. Don't remember receiving gold for such activities. Pretty interesting. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, there are a lot of there are a lot of cheaters. So. Unless you planning to play in solo lobby like I do. Well, playing on PC might be not comfortable. Uh, Mint was a bit more north. Oh, but that, like, that should be Mint as well. Let's go back there. I mean, maybe, maybe now I will pick it up. I mean, mint, uh, you can always collect here. You see? Snake, not again. There you go. Oh, I need, by the way, 10 animals. So it's super easy to make when you're shooting birds. Why that bird is not dead?
Anyway, let's go and do all that stuff, picking up mint and so on, yeah, when completing blood money mission. Wait, wait, what? Why, why are you running? Just curious, why are you collecting mint? I need uh, to craft minty big game meat. Is it still not 10 animals? Let me check. No, not telegrams, sorry. Daily challenges. I need three more animals. That horse flees at any given opportunity. Yeah, that's true. It's because uh, it's only bonding level one. Oh, already two, but still, it's it's. I need to max it out. I need to reach bonding level three, and then it should be. It should be better. So let's return to Joe. And you might say, Joe who? <laughs> but you will not, because you know this joke, right? Uh, so let's go. PlayStation 4 controller or Xbox One? I never played with PlayStation 4 controller, so I have no idea. But I actually like uh, Xbox controller. Best ability cards for PvP. Depends on type of PvP. Like... But I would say something like uh, uh, sharp shooter plus peak condition plus never without one, or maybe replace one of these, but not a sharp shooter with uh, fool me once. Would be a solid, and obviously you need to use Kerkana, and it would be a solid for like most way types of PvP. Solid loadout. Let's go and complete railroad contract. A lot of shooting there as well. Let's go and make them ugly first. Capitale. In this mission, actually, there will be a lot of shooting, and I just realized that I forgot to buy tonics. I don't really have tonics. Might be a problem. But there is even bigger problem. I might not have enough ammo. But let's see. Cat, what is your prediction for the next month bonus? I don't know, maybe... Uh, yes, I don't have ammo. Uh, anyway, I'll be fine. So anyway, as for next month, I think... Maybe collector? Would be cool. Is there any new role? Uh, obviously not. No new roles.
Okay, I, sh I should have <laughs> got closer, but they made like four kills. <laughs> Uh, four shots, he, he almost aiming at his head. Oh, okay, so now this wagon's actually easy to destroy. But I have only one dynamite. I don't need dynamite to destroy these wagons because first of all there is a lantern that I can shoot. And it will burn this wagon. And this wagon, I'm afraid I will have to destroy like this. Old fashioned way. But obviously if you have like a lot of dynamite and uh, flammable... Here we go. Yeah, it's, it's so much easier to solve this problem using dynamite, but... Oh, I found a collectible item, which is really good. It's an easy 100 experience points. Do you, don't you have a Molotov? I have only one Molotov and one dynamite. That's the problem. Let's see? And also, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't really have tonics. So now we are going to... Uh, to a base where they have another four crates that we should destroy. But the problem is, one is on the train, actually. And I need to destroy that first. Oh, it, it might be a pretty challenging fight, yeah, by the way. As I don't really have tonics. Well, I have some. I don't know. Let's, let's go. And yeah, guys, it's a Blood Money mission. It's called Railroad Contract. Second part of it. Oh, another rabbit died. So I think I, at this point I need to kill only one or two animals to receive a, to receive a daily challenge bonus. You know what? Let's sneak on the train, destroy that crate, and then start fighting. Because if I will start fighting now, the train will... Start moving, and then I might miss that crate completely. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't even need to to get on the train. Maybe I can just shoot this lantern, and the fire from it will go on the crate. Let's try it. Yeah, good. I didn't know that actually. That is possible. Oh, oh. Where did they get from? Like there was no one behind my back when I was sneaking and they just appeared out of nowhere. Killing as many as I can with a bow. Because I need to level up health. I never noticed that lantern either. It's probably because you have a lot of dynamite or dynamite arrows on a high level and you know, it's much easier to solve this problem with uh, help of dynamite. Let's loot them all because I still have a lot of time to receive a uh, high payout. A slippery bastard was spending money on. Well, if you play on console, then maybe yes. 
Uh, if you play on PC, definitely not, because like uh, Slippery Bastard is getting countered by many things, like arrows, tomahawks, bolas, uh, but the most importantly, scoped weapons, like sniper rifles, and like on PC, in PvP, uh, everyone will be using sniper rifles, I assume, so like you will basically you will have no effect from Slippery Busted. Wait, there is also Capitale. I remember Capitale here. <clears throat> yeah, and also, by the way, uh, like, few years ago, Slippery Busted used to work against NPCs, and, and but it's not working anymore. I don't know why Rockstar decided to change it. Not like it was like super powerful against NPCs, uh, but now it just don't work at all. And yeah, guys, hello to everyone who joined. Welcome on the stream. So one last uh, last uh, box left, but you know what? I will let's go and maybe I will find some herbs here while I'm still waiting and also i need to kill few anime animals so let's complete this while we are getting paid yeah you know what i mentioned that actually i'm finding way more capitale during this playthrough like much more capitale in every mission like Let's take a look, how much Capitale do I have already? 15. And I completed only 5 contracts. On, on the other hand, uh, no, for, for 15, I, uh, for 5 contracts I should get like... Was it always like 3 in each box? What can you do with Capitale? With Capitale you can start like the special opportunity missions uh, that are similar to legendary bounties. And payout. Payout is much bigger than in regular missions, but it's on, on the same level as uh, in legendary bounties. Maybe I will try to complete some. Okay, here we go. Let's pick some flowers. I need I need uh, to pick up flowers to receive uh, an award for selling 100 flowers to doctor. And obviously I need a big uh, mint to craft useful food and yeah by the way guys after this mission let's go to camp craft food order tonics stuff like that so let's check if i if there is a if there are some other useful herbs around if not let's just go and finish this mission yeah I don't see anything, so let's not waste time anymore. Let's go and finish the mission because I need this $60 bonus. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, it's, it was only part 2. I will receive bonus after completing part 3. Which will be really soon. There we go. You see, only $28 because it's not the last part of this. Uh, now let's place a camp somewhere nearby. Just small camp. camp yeah. Where is my camp? Let's check. And it's, it's right here. 
Sir Andrew says, Hi, thanks for all your content. I started playing online, but this month and now I'm level 80, thanks to you. This month and now I'm level 80, thanks to you. I have one question. Is it worth buying hunting wagon for trade uh, for trading role for trader role? Yes, it is. But not like uh, not because of the reasons like many people think. It's because hunting wagon is basically a wallet where you can store. It's a storage where you can store animal carcasses and pelts. It's really useful for that. Like, let's say you already have maximum amount of materials and you have like a perfect uh, carcass of a cougar. Uh, you just call your hunting wagon, place it there and use it later when you need it. Especially, you know, it's especially useful if you already have a naturally stroll and you already grind in uh, uh, legendary animals. So now let's... First of all, I need some tonics. You know what? I'm rich now. Let's buy... Yeah, let's buy 20. Potent health cure. Oh no, it's potent health cure. I wanted to buy. And buy... So I spend all my money, but I will not run out of tonics anymore. And now it's time to craft. And let's go. So first of all, we need this, but unfortunately I don't have too much mint right now. So let's craft, let's cook. I will cook uh, three uh, this golden food, three pieces of a golden food, and then seven of a regular food. Because, you know, even having regular food is better than no food at all. Buy the cheap tonics. Yeah, I should have bought the cheap tonics, but I thought that I'm rich now. Let's grab this with with time cook this as well and now back to blood money grinding yeah I need to become rich again. Actually, the 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 thing is, you're not gonna get rich in Red Dead Online before purchasing rolls. Like rolls are the only way to make solid money. Solid money. Okay, you can make gold with without rolls, and like there will be no real difference. You can just grind blood money missions. I mean, even in strange emissions, amount of gold will be the same. But money with rolls and without rolls, I like, it's like grinding money with rolls and without rolls is like completely different things. Completely. Hello, your videos are great, man. Congratulations. Thank you. And hello. So anyway, now we are good to go. Obviously, I also need to buy ammo, just in case. <laughs> Revolver cartridges. Why do we have, like, repeater cartridges? I'm buying everything like I'm a high level. I'm, okay, so, and I believe last time I bought 1000 arrows. Yeah, guys. It's not something that you should do if you're only starting in Red Dead Online because, like, you probably don't have that much money like I do. I don't have much money right now, but when I... Okay, 
when I play with my main character, I have like so much money that I don't care. I just buy as much uh, tonics as possible. But when you're only starting, yeah, save some money. Don't don't do this. It's just you know, it's just like a habit. Why do people go for Lancaster Repeater rather than for Lichfield, Lichfield one? Because Lancaster is uh, much better. It's more accurate, way more accurate. It has higher fire rate. I mean, I I, I have a, a video on a channel with testings and uh, you you might check it out if you want to see like exact difference or you might just trust me that Lancaster is by far the best repeater. No other repeater is even close. Evans might be equally good if you're playing on PC, not on consoles. But if you're playing on consoles, uh, Evans is also worse. Did I miss best low-level ability card loadout? There are no such thing as best low-level ability card loadout. And here is why. On... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> On low levels, you cannot afford ability card loadout. Ability card loadout is something for higher levels. Like, uh, best you can do is you can, like, when you will have money, upgrade painted black to level three, and then only then start uh, buying and uh, like buy first level of something like I for an I. You know, strange medicine. But don't 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 care about ability cards before you are a high level. You need to level three. Or for you need uh, you, okay. The point is you need to make a lot doubt, you need to have four different ability cards because you have four places. And, and again, all, you have uh, f uh, the last spot only on level 40, which is not a, not a low level. Uh, it's also low level, but not exactly. But anyway, even if you're level 40, you have four, you can equip four ability cards. But to upgrade each level ability card to level 3, you will need almost one thousand dollars so even to create a loadout you need four thousand dollars it's just impossible money for a beginner so the tip is like don't care about uh, ability cards before you level 60 or something if you have extra money upgrade painted black if you don't you don't Two-step verification, still a thing? Yes, still a thing, still gives you gold. I'm just not using it uh, <clears throat> for this playthrough to make it like more challenging. But yeah, it, it still works. Anyway, now let's go and complete the last part of this railroad contract. Yeah, yeah, Dicer, you got it. Like, later, level 60, like, when you will have uh, some good money from collector roll, probably, then start making loadouts. Before that, focus on leveling up cards, so you might buy some cards, ability cards, uh, level 1 for $50, equip them, and just, you know, earn experience. They will not be really helpful. On level 1, ability cards are not helpful at all. You will probably not even notice most of them. Only exception is never without one, probably. You might buy never without one and just, you know, uh, use it. it. Because even on first level, it blocks a headshot. So, let's go. Another $60.
cut the head off the snake. Okay, so <clears throat> squeeze the last drop of your filthy capitale out of its open neck. Okay, he says Capitale Capitale again. Potato Pirate says, I, I will say this about low levels and ability cards. Stop getting and leveling, come back stronger. Yeah, come back stronger is just a waste of time. A waste of money and time and like... Uh, I, I, I'm not quite sure why uh, it's the most common one you see. Maybe because it has a pretty cool name. Come back stronger. But... Like, yeah, that ability guard is a waste. <clears throat> I never tried to complete this mission in stealth, but let's do it now. Oh, a bear. This one is relatively friendly. I think it can be completed in stealth. Let, let's, let's try. Not sure if it's worth it. Okay, so set fire. I never, I never even tried to complete this mission in stealth. I just usually just go and kill everyone. But you can set set fire. How do I set fire here? Hey, maybe if I will shoot. Oh. Cool. What the hell was that? Go, go, go. Look. So I set fire. And now what? Few guards ran away. I'm not sure uh, which one of them was the one I have to kill, but I think he's dead now. Oh no, not Lomans again. So everyone is dead now, we good. That was pretty cool. So now I just need to loot him, not like it was stealth. Yeah, Lomans always ruin the fun. Oh, I found the treasure map! You know what, let's loot a little bit more. Maybe there are... I'm not saying that uh, the Ryan has a treasure map, but let's let's loot. Treasure map is map is really cool. It will help me to uh, buy first roll much faster. As I already mentioned, the problem with uh, Lowmans is that for killing them you get no gold. Uh, no, not no gold, you got no extra experience, sorry. Oh, I found Capitale! Nice! <gasps> Luckily, I don't lose anything when I die in this mission. But that was unexpected. He one shot at me. 
Everything is burning around, so you know it's a great time to pick up some flowers. Knick says, it's just astonishing. How do you like this, Loman? He's like, hello. Let's wave to him. Hello, mister. You don't remember me. But I just killed all these people and then you killed me. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I was expecting you will remember me. But anyway. Uh, so, it's just astonishing uh, that there are so many new players in Red Dead Online and still Rockstar doesn't care about Red Dead Online. Yes, it's, uh, it makes no sense. Makes no sense. I agree. 100%. Now let's eat some food. Get some tonic. And get ready for fighting. <clears throat> <laughs> Fight finding capitale is like finding tuberculosis. So yeah guys, now it's gonna be an intense spot. Oh no, my horse ran out of stamina. I'm I'm constantly Forgetting that uh, that's uh, level one bonding level only. Let's let's feed another hay. Now we need to get on this train. Actually, I, I have a bad idea. Oh, no, 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 no. Go. I will stop this train instead. You know what? Jump. Okay, mister. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, he's always stays first, so wait, 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 wait. Just Oh, oh no 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 I need last another fire bottle Here you go mister And yeah you might loot uh, capitale from him Another three capitale uh, At this point I'm pretty surprised that no one attacking me I think there should be reinforcements. Clocking Bell Raid trailer just dropped. I... I mean, I could... I wanted to say that I care, but I don't. But I, I will check it later, but I was just like... I was not playing GTA Online lately. Uh, let me explain why. After, so I was playing before uh, b before Rockstar showed trailer for GTA 6. I played the uh, GTA Online occasionally, so I had no issues with that. But after GTA 6 trailer was released, like suddenly GTA. And GTA Online started to look so old and outdated to me. I don't know. It's just like some some mentality thing. I mean, they didn't change uh, on PC. GTA Online looks like pretty decent. In and even on my Xbox Series X, I have a next gen version. It's like it's fine. 
but it's just I was not playing. Anyway, if uh, this clock and bell raid is something funny, something like uh, Cayo Perico, I will definitely go and check it out. What? Wait, wait. Railroad director, stay. I'm not quite sure if I can knock him out, so I will not try. Maybe, because maybe if you knock him out, the mission restarts or something. Go, right? So... Right? Wrong, wrong. Ah, anyway, let's try, to, let's try to knock him out. Okay, I'm not quite sure if it's possible. I hit him six times already and he's uh, still not in a knockout, so I'm afraid that I will, if I will continue hitting him, he will just die. Twisted Trading says, uh, what I did when the second ability card became available was buy a card and then it was upgraded, then another card, and then do the same. Uh, yeah, it also makes sense to just purchase first level of cards, equip them to receive this uh, experience that you need to upgrade it to level 2 and then just switch them. On the other hand, like on low levels, you don't really have that much of an extra money, of extra dollars, so... I'm not sure if it's if it's worth it, to be honest, because like, you know, you can upgrade ability cards at any point with no problem at all, simply because collector role exists. And not only collector role, like, with help of roles, you can upgrade ability cards easily but let's say there is a uh, double experience for trader role you make one long distance delivery receive insane amount of experience boom you have three thousand i don't remember how much for long distance delivery but anyway uh legendary <laughs> legendary bounty mission with double right now there is a double experience on legendary uh, bounties why I cannot lasso him? What? Why he's not active? No! Oh, he fi I finally knocked him out. Nice. Foof, I was afraid he's dead. Oops, it was a wrong, wrong dude. So, I was saying, <laughs> legendary bounty mission. Uh, now double experience, 5 star at the doil, 30 minutes, 3000 experience points. So, it's just like, it's not that much of a big deal nowadays uh, to level up ability cards. Like it used previously. I knocked him out. H have you seen what like what is going on? What is I knocked him out like 30 seconds ago. It was 30 seconds ago. Uh, okay. You know what, it would be safer if I will just carry him on my shoulder. Uh. Let's go, let's go. Meanwhile... 
yeah, as you can see, I, uh, after completing this mission, I will have a little bit more than five gold bars and I think $130, something like that. Uh, so I will, I will just uh, find the treasure and then I still will need, yeah, I still will need four more gold bars. So anyway, uh, as I already mentioned, I need gold to purchase the first roll, it's obvious, but I also need money to purchase rolling block rifle. Uh, I think it might be even with discount this month, let me check. Yeah, it has a discount, so only for 246, I need to earn enough money to purchase rolling block this month. So I need extra, maybe you know what, maybe I will find uh, enough uh, in a treasure chest. North Tumbleweed, which is great, I'm nearby. Okay. We need to fast travel to Tumbleweed. And there we will, we hopefully will find it. Maybe I will buy rolling block even on this stream. I really need rolling block because, you know, when you're playing on PC with mouse and the keyboard, there is no reason to purchase uh, Springfield or Bolt Action. Okay, there is a reason you might use Painted Black with it, but even though rolling block is just a, is such a great choice on PC I'm not I don't mean that it's better than Kirkana no Kirkana is much better I'm just I just say that it's it's a better choice to buy on a low level so on the other hand I'm not quite sure which level I am oh so yeah well, I'm almost level 14 yeah, let's go find this treasure, I will have enough money, then one more mission, and I will have enough, uh, in h high enough level. X23 says, true that, cat. I'm on PC and I've yet to use bolt action on Springfield Doll. Yeah, I understand why, because like, why would you, if you can just simply buy a uh, rolling block. And have much more powerful weapon for everything. <clears throat> Springfield is not good on PC. Springfield not, is not that good, like pretty much a anywhere. You see, the like why the only reason why would you need want to use Springfield is to hunt animals with painted black. Why it's a little bit better for such purpose than bolt action rifle? Because with bolt action rifle, especially on controller, sometimes, occasionally, you will place a second uh, mark and ruin the belt quality because of that. It, it happens sometimes. And with Springfield rifle, it's not gonna happen because, like, it it has only one, uh, only one bullet in it. But I mean, if you if you playing with free aim, anyways, uh, just use sniper rifle. Why not? For everything, for hunting. Hmm. Searching for treasure. Don't see any signs yet. Could it be uphill? Let's go. I'm not sure if if it can be up there, but yeah, it can be. Let's go and check it out. Oh, stop jumping, bro. Can I even get up there? 
Let's feed my horse. I really need that bonding level 3. Biggest hunting challenge. Use only bow. I'm not quite sure if it's that much of a challenge. You know what? When I'm gonna be uh, when I'm gonna be leveling up trader role on this character, remind me of this challenge, please. And yeah, we'll be hunting only with bow. No, nothing here as well. Hmm. Wait, 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 That was dangerous. <clears throat> hmm. I think I... I checked pretty much everything and I haven't found it. Maybe I was... Not paying enough attention. Was he already? Is this a, some sort of a box? I don't think it's a treasure because it was not glowing yet. Uh, I thought, you know, maybe it's just a treasure but some bug and it's not glowing, but no. Okay guys, trying to trying to find it. The, and uh, another like problem when you uh, search for treasure chests as a low level is that you don't have an ability to use eagle eye while riding with acceleration you know while galloping you only get it from bounty hunter roll oh there we go it's a collectible which is also good you know and i think that's a treasure yeah nice Oh, no, 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 wrong button. <clears throat> oh, 1.59. Quite a lot of gold I received from this chest. And I already have enough money to purchase... Uh, to purchase rolling block. I think... I'm not quite sure, but I think that... Level requirement is level 14. But maybe it's level 13. Let's take a look. Oh, I can buy it already. Nice. That's cool. I already have rolling block rifle and let's buy some ammunition for it, obviously. Mm. Rifle cartridge is regular. I don't... I spend all my money, but like I have... I have all I need, basically. I have tonics, I have rolling block rifle, I have bow. So... Yeah, we good. Shooting, flying bird from a galloping horse is not the best idea.
Granny Theft Auto says most I've got from treasure is 1.86 uh, gold least is 0 0.36 yeah yeah it makes sense i mean on average i uh, at some point i tested you know i was just like i had a lot of treasure maps and i was just finding treasures one by one and recording all the uh, results basically all the golden money i found uh it's 1.1 gold bars and i don't remember how much money but i think around 110 X23 says, rolling block level 13, nice, because I thought it was level 26, no, not level 26, for sure, it's like, uh, it's a weapon that is available on lower level. So actually, you know what, I'm, I'm almost ready to purchase the first roll, I all I just need uh, is a little bit... A little bit of gold because like how much do I have almost seven gold bars I will receive treasure map on level 15 so it would be eight yeah so almost 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 there let's go and complete one more uh, one more contract Let's go. Kramery, you want to be a go <laughs> you want to be a girl? Why the female character? Um I'm gonna be honest with you, Kramery. That's the stupidest thing I've seen in the chat today. I mean, it's 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 not that bad to be honest, because like most things I see in the chat are pretty smart. Actually, we have smart people on on this stream usually, but like and uh, well, why female character? Because like why not? Most of my characters are male. But like I I to be honest, I haven't seen this like point of view. If you, if you might say like. Oh, so if you want to be a girl, you create a female character. <laughs> today, Randy Page says, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe not even today. And by the way, guys, it's uh, definitely the coolest contract of them all. It's called uh, Blue Waterman contract. Michael says, playing an outlaw, you want to murder and abuse people? Yeah, it's the same type of logic. It's so stupid. It's like, a, in my opinion, it's some mentality of, of people who never played games, like 60 years plus. Uh, and, you know, uh, nowadays it's not happening anymore, but, but like 10 years before, maybe... 20 years, especially 20 years before, in early 2000s, I saw this, uh, you know, in a news, this reporters constantly connecting crimes in the video games and crimes in real life. So look, oh no, kids are playing video games, they're gonna go out and shoot everybody now. Oh no! And it it was saying boomers were you know uh, uh, back when they were growing level of crimes level of violence was significantly higher than now not even comparable. The, oh, and I even I, even recently I've seen such uh, so there was a uh, news about some kid beating Tetris finally. And I was, I thought like, wow, cool, this kid is cool. And there was a reporter and she said something. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I might not remember like particular what she said, but she said like, oh, this kid has nothing to do, better to do with his life than playing stupid game. And I thought like, what? Who? Why? Why? 
So alright guys, if uh, something... I'm usually super calm uh, and polite even person, but what makes me kind of... What triggers me is uh, stupidity. Like really, when I see stupidity like that question like, Oh, you have female character. Do you want to be a girl? <laughs> that kind of triggers me. Anyway, it's a pretty cool cutscene. We beat in the dude and he turns into snake or something. It's a magic. So let's con let's continue. Amberlita says, "Oh, hello Friday stream. Oh, hello Amberlita." Let's go. Let's go. And I mean, it's a sp oh, snake is still there. And I mean, it's especially weird to see comments like that in a chat. Like I assume that people who watch gaming streams, they are playing games themselves, so they don't, they should not have all these misconceptions about gaming and gamers that people who never played uh, any games except bingo on Saturday nights have. So, ah. Twisted Trading says, that reporter thinks the kids should be reading their stupid articles. That reporter is not even making any articles. She's She works on TV, uh, which, you know, is, is, she's not reading articles herself, I assume. But obviously that kid should not watch such TV where uh, stupid people are telling you some stupid ideas. Which is like pretty much any <laughs> any TV uh, nowadays. Not nowadays. It always have been like that. Sorry, always have been like that. Okay, so now it's it's a great time to use my rifle, my shiny brand new rifle. Bam! There you go. Okay, so bam headshot not oh, okay so apparently rolling block is not a one one body shot kill let's keep the distance keep the distance they're hiding headshot and now it's a head shot. It's not a head shot, it's a head shot. Okay, riders approaching. Okay, I need to switch. I'm definitely not gonna kill this rifle uh, riders from such distance using a long scoped. It's not a long scoped, it's a medium scoped uh, sniper rifle, but still. So I would rather use bow. You are weird, says Gamer Zero. Mm, okay. Here we go. There will be a lot of looting. Okay, so he's shooting from, <laughs> but I don't see him. The problem is I cannot shoot through the bushes. Because uh, bushes are made of titanium in this game. Oh, no, 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 not the horse. That's a pretty intense fight for a, like a low level mission, right? Oh, no, no, I can kill him with sniper rifle. Bam.
And he's dead. Now let's loot everybody and deliver Capitale. Not you, cat. You are the god. Thank you. But I mean, you can be god and weird at the same time. I see no, no, no problems with that. Just Roy says, I'm level 71. Oh no, not level. I'm 71 and I love this game. And a lot of, uh, like, players, uh, like, even, even, I will tell you even more. I have statistics uh, that I was gathering at some time to find out an average age of a player in Red Dead Online. And uh, on both PC and consoles. So why I did that? I actually wanted to prove the point. Because game was released on PC back then and there was like a point in the community that on PC only kids will play Red Dead Online. Uh, I don't know why, but like consoles is where the like more mature audience is. So anyway, I wanted to prove that this point is not necessary true. And I was uh, like um, gathering information about the average age of a community. And you know what? It turned out that average age is uh, 21.5 years or something. And which is also really interesting. It was almost identical on consoles and PC. Almost identical. And you might say average age 21 uh, and a half years is not that, that high average age. Well, and I will tell you that it, it's an extremely high average age for a game like I'm pretty sure in Fortnite it will be like 13 so my point was Red Dead Online's community is extremely mature that's why probably it's relatively calm and uh friendly I said relatively because for some reason each time when I say that Red Dead Online's community is super friendly I see a lot of comments like people say oh it's not friendly I seen a lot of modders I seen a lot of griefers yes griefers and modders exist yes there is some level of tox toxicity but if you will compare it to other games uh, like, as per, you know, similar games. I'm not even saying Fortnite, like, like, GTA Online. Level of toxicity in Red Dead Online's community is much, much lower. You know what, you know what, Let, let's make a poll, let's make a poll about that, start a poll, okay, I hope uh, that stream works fine now, because when I alt tab to a chat, it started to lag, no, 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 go back, <laughs> I hope it's fine. So. Okay, you, you know what? Let's not make a poll because for some reason it's it's just lagging. Sorry. Was this setup streaming setup? Making polls is uh, kind of difficult. Oh, guys, I understand what's going on. There is a troll in the chat. The same exact troll who asked about a female character. I see. But just ignore, you know, whatever. So, here we go, mister. There you go. A bag. This is 
A lot, a lot of 50 plus uh, people in uh, person, so they don't know how to say in English, playing Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. It's just like, no, I don't think that there are too many games that uh, have the same community. But it's just my point, unfortunately, I think so, or not only. Anyway, 7 gold bars, and I assume level 15 is pretty, pretty soon, yeah, pretty soon. Oh, you know what, let's go to Joe immediately, and try to complete, and try to complete second part. No, Joe is pretty far from us. <clears throat> there is a mission, blood money mission giver in Saint Denis, but he's not uh, here during daytime. He's in roads. It's it's another character from story, Anthony Freeman. Mycon says, I'm level... Uh, why am I saying level all the time? People are talking about age. I'm 37, I'm playing... I'm just playing Red Dead Online and World of Warcraft, but Red Dead Online makes me more happy. I understand that feeling. By the way, here is why you need a rolling block. To kill alligators. And look, like, previously when I was killing alligators with three headshots. I was getting three pieces of meat from each and now I should receive five because I killed an animal without ruining pelt quality. Take a look. Okay, five, you see? So much easier now to grind. GG Games says, you must be desperate to start a new character. <laughs> Isn't that illegal? Did you read uh, Terms of Service? Yeah, per probably Rockstar don't want us to create a new characters because it's too much fun. I will tell you more according to Terms of Service, uh, having fun is illegal in Red Dead Online. You're not supposed to. What's the best rounds for each class? Uh, uh, to be honest, I have no idea what this question is. Yeah, fun is illegal in Red Dead Online, didn't you know? Oh, what a nice jump. Perfect landing. Yeah, thank you. I, I I was practicing this a lot. Oops. Killed another animal. Poor animal. By the way, you know what? I can get another... I just, I just thought about it. There is a daily challenge to animals stowed on horseback. It can be easily done. Let me find... I will do it uh, while completing a blood money mission, you know, to receive more gold and money from it, but it, it can be done easily. Got a new job. My beast of Capitale is involved too. New 
new job. Captain Kayla, too. Oh no, now it has a cooldown. That's a shame. I don't like this. Like, Cornwall contract is not the funniest. Saloon's contract is not also not the fun one. Uh, so you know what? Instead, let's go and complete some telegram mission. Mm, for example, one horse deal. Good uh, telegram mission, a lot of shooting. Let's go. Captain Yellow says, my friend says he likes female characters because he likes to look a female from back. Well, uh, also a good point. If you switch lobbies, cooldown is gone. Yeah, but I will need to spend like few minutes and uh, then not sure if I will be there. Plus, I want a little bit of uh, sniping, sniper rifle practicing. I just bought sniper rifle after all. And in this mission, you, I mean, I, I need gold more than I need money at this point. I already have tonics, I already have uh, sniper rifle, so I don't really need money. Actually, this mission can be completed in stealth. You know what? Let's try to do it. And when I will fail, uh, I will just switch to mass shooting mode. Okay, so the first place to check is this barn, but it's closed. And yeah, guys, there will be a stream on Sunday as well. Should be. Okay, so I'm still in stealth. Can I kill this dude without anyone noticing it? I'm not sure, but... Yes, I can. Nice. Stealth! Okay, probably not. Plan B. Killing everyone. Using sniper rifle. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I need to practice. Whoop, that was a bad shot. Like, completely bad one. Oh, there is a bus away. It's not a sniper, but he's sitting on this tower. So I will kill him. Cat, is mouse uh, and keyboard easier to shoot versus controller? F a lot. A lot easier. I mean, yeah, controller has uh, auto aiming, but it doesn't matter. I mean, in this game, you have you have painted black. Painted black is so much power overpower it. It's not even powerful. It's overpower it when you play with mouse and the keyboard. Someone is hiding here. I don't see anyone. Oh, there you are. There you are. What a sneaky, sneaky bandit. Okay, actually, they are not bandits, I guess. I guess I'm the bandit. So, should not say bad things about these enemies. Should kill them with respect.
I have to be careful because unlike with blood money mission, if I die here... Oh no, I still have extra life, so nothing will happen. I don't need to be careful. <clears throat> so I will kill them with bow. And the last one. And here we go. Now it's time to loot. Maybe I will find another treasure map and then I will buy a uh, bounty hunter roll like almost immediately. <laughs> you have nine lives. <laughs> yeah, but it, for some reason screen says only two. That I have only two. Looting? I want to loot each and every enemy here. Maybe I will find collectibles, maybe I will find something. Uh, some th something more valuable like treasure map. Just Joy, thank you, Just Joy, for becoming a supporter. And thanks to all my supporters on YouTube membership, on Patreon, and obviously to everyone who uses uh, Super Chat. And to everyone who placed a like under this stream. Oh, yeah, guys, I said that I will complete a daily challenge. So let's go and complete daily challenge as well. <clears throat> That that can be completed easily. Yep. So first of all, I need some big animal, like a deer. NHS one says, uh, "Hey, cat, sorry if you already touched on it. Do you think it's better to wait out the bounty timer to run them back for more payout? I think it's uh, better to spend exactly twelve minutes." on a mission so you just set up your own timer uh, like use uh, using a telephone yeah that's that will work and measure exactly 12 minutes after mission starts like make it 12 minutes and two seconds so anyway uh, the challenge uh, daily challenge is to place five animals, uh, five enemies, uh, not enemies, but animals on the back of your horse. But the thing is, it's not necessary, if I remember correctly, you can do like this. It's not necessary have to be different animals. You can just stow animal carcass, then remove it. Then stow it again. By the way, it also increases bonding level for some reason. I have no idea. When you removing the carcass, it it increases bonding level. My bad. It's not working like this. Sorry. <laughs> I was, for some reason I, I thought that it works like this, but no. I'm actually surprised because most of the time uh, challenges, like you know, something like use lasso versus bounty targets. You can complete them all on one on one target, but not this one. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Don't worry. So let's go and pick up some mint. There's supposed to be a lot of mint in this area. I think. Yeah, here. Yeah. I will need it to craft golden food. Captain Yellow says, yeah, you're not doing dailies after the nef, but some still work like that. Like, actually, quite a lot of them still work like that. You just, like, 
with lasso, with bolas, I believe, and uh, with tracking arrow. Okay, so now it's time to deliver a horse. I have enough mint, so let's go and deliver to receive the money. <clears throat> Meanwhile, ple please let me know in the chat amount of viewers and likes, because again, with this setup, I cannot really alt tab for some reason. So I have no idea how to check it out. So it's it's here. Breaking the horse on a PC for some reason is like super easy you just hold you just press G and that's it 210 likes 170 viewers thank you One hundred and ninety viewers, two hundred and ten likes. So apparently, uh, YouTube sho shows different information to different viewers. <laughs> Guy Birkovsky became cat supporter. Thank you, thanks, and welcome again. So let's feed this horse with something, with salary. It's not necessary, but. <clears throat> now, if you complete in this mission, there is a trick. At some point, enemies will start chasing you, but it's not necessary to fight them back. I mean, you can, but you can just ride and ignore them. Let's go, let's go. What level is this new character? I think it's level 14 at the moment. You can ignore them because they will never hit you. I mean, maybe they will hit you once or twice, but they will never kill you. The only way you can die is if you will hit something with your horse and fell fell down, then you can die. But except for that, it's just super safe. You just you just ride and ignore. And the main trick is once you will cross the railroad line. Like like this. Oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> That was, <laughs> that was not the trick. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was not the trick. <laughs> but anyway, the trick is when you cross the uh, railroad, they stop chasing you for some reason. <laughs> uh, see, on this side of a railroad, they're chasing you, and when you when you are here, they just disappear. Oof. <clears throat> that was a nice fail. So will I receive enough experience to reach level 15? I highly doubt that. Let's deliver. You know, decent payout, not impressive, but fine. Mm. 
When you were doing no kills, didn't the enemies just disappear? Uh, yes, they did. And no one was chasing. If you complete this mission in stealth, like I completed it uh, during uh, no kills challenge, uh, no one is chasing you. So it's kind of funny, but apparently Rockstar wanted players to complete this mission in stealth. Uh, but there is no extra payouts, no real reasons to do that, so I'm, I assume that I'm the only person who ever completed this mission in stealth. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Because like there is no... maybe someone just loves stealth and completes every mission. Tries to complete every mission. But even though like... You know, if you start killing them, quite often you will break stealth and fail. So you see, I'm, I still need two gold bars. Let's check, you know, maybe I have some... Uh, maybe I have some awards that I'm almost completed, unlocked. So sharpshooter. This one I can try to complete on purpose, but it's like a little bit too much. Here, nothing. Not here. No, I'm not any close to... Oh, okay. Like, no, it's not the one. <clears throat> nope, I don't have... Unfortunately, don't have any uh, achievements that are ready to reset or even any close you can sell uh, herbs to doctor i don't think i have 100 already let's check it no, I don't have... Like, I used most of my herbs to craft meat. So I don't have it. I might do the... I just need 1000 experience points so what I can actually do I can get them in another mission isn't your horse a bit dirty my horse is real dirty let's go and visit stables I will buy my horse uh, better stirrups because I'm running out of stamina all the time and finally I can afford stirrups. And I also need to buy Horse Reviver, because I don't have one. <clears throat> so let's go and spend it. Actually, I might uh, just, uh, f you know, finish this grind on the next stream on Sunday. On Sunday stream will be longer. Today we have like a smaller surprise stream. Two point seven almost. Well, I will get treasure maps really soon. So yeah, it, it will take like a little more than one hour. And let's go. We have another another event that I never understood. A, a duel. Now two women are, are fighting. 
So yeah, now now what I need. I need uh, manage owned horses, brew, saddles, and I need to buy better steer wraps for $25. And with that, I will run out of stamina. I will be running out of stamina on much slower rate. And also, I need some food for my horse. Horse Reviver. Let's buy a few of them. And there we go. You see, my horse is clean. And apparently the woman is already dead. Maybe I will loot her and find a treasure map or something. No, nothing. She had no money at all. Twisted Trading says, what level do hooded steer ups unlock? I don't remember, but a relatively high level. My, I think like 50 or something. Okay. I'm just checking around, maybe there are some, uh, some collectibles. You know what, let's, let's uh, ride around, maybe I will see another random encounter, this time with a treasure map, because in this area there are a lot of treasure map givers. Call Cole saying 50, level 52 to unlock uh, hooded stirrups. Yeah, I also think that around something like around 50. <clears throat> and X23 th thinks that it's actually uh, first you can buy Nakadoches and then hooded stirrups. You know what, let's complete that daily challenge with placing carcasses on a horse. I, I also can sell this carcass to a butcher, but maybe I will do, but not now. I need to stop. Oops, missed. Okay, here we go. Daily sell five whole animals. No, daily challenge is not to sell, but stow on horseback. But maybe there is a daily challenge. Oh, there is such daily challenge. Okay. You know what? Let's complete these two daily challenges. It's at least some gold. Nah. I forgot my own advice. When you don't have a streak, just complete these as daily challenges and that's it, and, 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 and stop. It's, li it's literally a waste of money, uh, of time. Without a streak. Oops. I marked his... Why am I... Are you in a private lobby? For sure. Jim says, RDR3 better be in 1870s. Yeah, I agree. 
So one animal left. Uh, let's let's complete it because I already started. No, it's not. It's a coyote. Doesn't count. I need to find a bigger animal somewhere around. It also counts. Okay. Do you have a streak? No, I don't have. I, I shouldn't have even bothered about this daily challenge, to be honest. I mean, I made a mistake. Now I cannot find the big animals, but let's try if coyote really counts. Oh yeah, coyote should count. It's it's also you can place only one coyote on your horse, so it should count. It's like rabbit shouldn't, I guess. Button says, hi cat, nice hoodie, thank you, thank you. You know what, Let's let's check if rabbit counts. Where is... How was the rabbit was not dead? So if it counts, I will receive gold. Oh, it counts. So yeah, technically, yeah, I agree with Captain Yellow. Technically, it is stowing on a horse, so it counts and it makes sense you see 2.5 gold bars uh left to purchase the first roll so i think i actually will finish the grind on uh, on sunday so with that being said uh thank you for everyone who joined whoever to everyone who placed a like and uh, you know watch this stream and if you're interested in finding a previous part of this series level 1 to level 100 you can see it on your screen now and with that being said stay safe stay happy